shirt real quick, sir. Your shirt says, friends, don't let friends put <laughs> potato salad in their gumbo. God, don't. God, what's up? Look at this. You post this on every post you post. And I sneak it in, on dude. Facebook. I God, sneak it in. I, I, I do you it don't mine. even know it's coming. I, What's going down, everybody? <laughs> We're back for another episode of Between the Barrels. So, We're back at by Terrible and the Stillers for another wonderful week. You know, it's back and better than ever. Back another Whiskey Wednesday because we got yeah. Mr. Joe Boudreau here. We are fortunate enough to have Mr. Joe. I yeah. appreciate that. I'm, I'm so fortunate welcome, to be sitting welcome here. Welcome to gentlemen. Between the Barrels. Thank you. Salute Thank you. again because Thank that's you. what we like to do. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Happy to be here. We'll, we'll kick it off. Mr. Joe, who are you and what do you do? Yeah, man. Well, my name's Joe Boudreau. Yeah. Um, I own Zach's Famous Frozen Yogurt. Hell yeah, you do. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, we have two locations here in Homa, um, nice. St. Charles and, and West Park. The original one in West Park opened up in 1983. Yes. So we're 38 years in business, right? Same location. Ooh. Wow, Not that's bad. bad right? that, yeah, that means you're doing something right. Yeah. And I appreciate that location because it's about two minutes from my yes. house. Yes. I live in that area, so uh, my, uh, I should say my uh, daughter is very appreciative of that location. Right, with that new milkshake bar, yeah. there she is, man. Let's go to Zach's. Yeah. Zach's yeah. is a special place, man. So how long have you been uh, operating and owning uh, Zach's? So February 20th of 2000, I was 17 years old, right. and my dad bought Zach's. It had okay. been there since 1983, so it's been there about 17 years, okay. and uh, it was about to go out of business, and so my dad... Decided cool. he wanted to buy it. You know, my dad's a businessman. Right, yeah. right. So I started working there. And uh, right after we bought it, the manager quit. So all of a sudden, at 17 years old, I'm the manager. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. So, uh, thank you. And uh, so <laughs> I was, that was fun. And, and that's where we started. And uh, here we are, 21 years. So, yeah, so, so February 20th is uh, 2021. is going to make my up. 21st year wow. uh, doing that. And uh, the relationships that I've made along the way, man, are just awesome. I mean, everybody right. here tonight is, is part yeah. of that story, yeah. everybody. Yeah. We got a, some good crowd here tonight. Yeah, Joe brought a, a couple of people with, but all these people you were telling me earlier has been involved kind of from the beginning, right? From the beginning, from the beginning. They're all, they're all, a, they're all a chapter in that, in that story. They're OG and, guys, too. They're, oh, they're original people. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's OGs. awesome, man. That's awesome. Still, still involved with Zach's today, all these years later. So every one of them started out when we were teenagers, right. working together, forming that, that bond, that relationship. Yeah, that's awesome. And now we're, we're adults, and we've got kids, and we, you know, right. we've got other careers, too. Too, but 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 um, you're still core to still, that. Like, yeah, and, hey, yeah, exactly. Obviously, because they came out here to support you tonight, yeah. and they're like, hey, we you know we love Zach. So yeah, fellow we love Zach too. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty awesome that you could form those relationships at such a young age. Cool. Not only Zach's right, you do a little real estate. Yeah, so stuff. been in the real estate business for about ten years now. Right. Uh, have a team, uh, and Carson and Monica who are here tonight too. Real estate's been 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 a lot of fun. Got in right after the BP oil spill, so it was okay. an interesting time. Right. Yeah, I man. Bet now it's been real interesting. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Real estate. Real estate's fun. Yeah. And uh, the air, this area in, in real estate is uh, is really interesting because you have a scarcity of land here. A lot of people don't think about. It. You can't just build anywhere. Right. Right. You have flood zone C, and then goes flood zone A. Yeah. Right. You yeah. know, and e everywhere where there's a ridge, you know, if you kind of look at it, you know, the, everything, and it, it all goes then down from there. Off. So you can't just build anywhere. Right. You know, because you have so much wetlands right. that's why the value of houses stay so high even through kind of these rough patches that kind of stayed up there right because there's nowhere else to to inhabit because right. it's all been taken really yep. but how do you balance you got a lot of go going on you got two stores yeah real estate right I mean, obviously handful you of kids yeah yeah <laughs> handful of kids yeah i'm i'm married family man my wife's name is lauren she teaches nursing at nichols she's from, she's from south lafouche she's from south big LaFouche. tarpon fan that's right that's we right we like it we like it a lot they've been that's, they've been chatting about yeah, that bro. Oh, 45 minutes yes all indeed right. and she told me not to embarrass her with my really Bad uh, down the South of Fush accent. You good? So I, I got you tonight. Okay. I got you tonight. Thank bro. you. I appreciate that. All right. Chad I'm is good hands, bro. Chad yeah, yeah. is our resident down the bottom. Oh, Galliano boy. for life. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. He's our resident. Don't, don't make the mistake and say he's from La Rosa. Cut off. Because mm -hmm. I bust a bottle on you. Don't say I'm from Golden Meadow either. He Ooh. gets rowdy when he says that. Or Dogri. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Not me. I know a guy from Dogrito. 
He ain't Chad. There's three people from WWE. <laughs> yeah. I know the other. There, I know one of the other three. guys. I know one of them. I know, I know one of them. I know, I know everybody. That's, it. That's pretty much it. We yep. got the market corner. All right. Yep. So family man. Uh, yeah. Three, wife, three kids. kids. Three kids. Very good. So and two stores. Real estate. Yeah. Just yeah. Dabble and everything. Huh? That's it, man. I, I play guitar at, at, at my church, First Baptist, man. So I love. Oh, uh, that's awesome. I, yeah. Every Sunday, man. It's it's a lot of fun. Music, music. Music is a big part of my life, too. How long have you been playing guitar? Uh, 20, uh, 23 years. That's awesome. Yeah, man. So, man, you got your hand in everything. Yeah. yeah you're a fun. father, you're a businessman, yeah. real estate. Uh, real estate's good right now, too, with the refine it, right? It sure is. It sure I know is. a lot of people that are saving a whole lot of money. Tell them about that, man. The interest rates are, are, are so low. Interest rates are actually, some of them are lower than the rate of inflation, which kind of, kind of blows my mind. Um, people can't understand what that means, though, right? Because it's like, why, what? Yeah. Yeah, it's just really, really, really cheap money that's out there to, to get people buying because home ownership is is really important because homeowners uh, they they stimulate the economy because right. they go out they're going to Lowe's and yeah. and Morrison and they're and they're buying stuff and uh, where um, where rental property doesn't really you know bring in that right. that type I'm not of gonna upgrade this it's house not going to really upgrade the house why would I do that yeah yeah, yeah. so um, yeah it's a great time though to, to buy right now especially with refinance right if you, rates have, a, so if you low. have a high interest rate. Contact him. He can get you at a low, low note right now. That's right. I, I can I'm serious. I hear it all over the radio too. And uh, yeah. I talked to one of my other friends, Matt, out there, and he told me the same stuff. You know, like it's super duper. Uh, it to, right now is the time to refinance, or you know, if you want to be crazy enough to buy something. But. That's right. Yeah, the appraisers have been really busy. Last year was probably the busiest year ever for an appraiser. That's and, crazy uh, when you think of such a pandemic, and we fell into this. What everyone wants you to think is a law, but. Some companies actually yeah. prospered in that. That's right. Get up that uh, get up that profit, boy. Get That's up right, that man. Real That's estate. It, so tell us a little bit about the Zach's yeah. owning those two, the two locations. Uh, when did the St. Charles open? We opened um, January the first, so on uh, New Year's Day, uh, two thousand nineteen. Okay. So uh, we're we're in our third year. We just started our third That's year awesome. of business there. Right. Um, we're we're excited about it, man. We um. You know, like I said, the brand's been around since 1983. Actually, the story is Zach's, the name started in New Orleans in 1977. Really? So it's a, it's a local local kind of, kind right. of franchise. That's, that, that's what I wanted to ask as well. Is yeah. it a franchise that just, that came here and your parents ended up yeah, buying seeing a franchise. an opportunity and buying it and, and, and you then, brought it into what it is kind of now? Yeah, we re So in 2001, um, the brand filed for bankruptcy. Okay. And they only had a few left out there, you know, just, I mean. You kind of go through all crash of the 80s, you know, right, things, right, things, right. things kind of change. And so instead, you know, we had no reason to shut down because things were, we were, things were really good. Yeah, you, still, you guys so, are still moving. To, uh, so let's keep the name. Let's keep rolling and let's do some things. I mean, you know, uh, Justin and, and, and Leah were with me at the time oh, and in there, just loved people and uh, just connected with our customer, our customers and uh, made friendships for life. And, right. and that's what small business is, Absolutely. you know, and, and I mean, I mean that's the that's the back and local too. Local, local, you know, local, local. local. Right. Keeping it local and, and keeping it small, and you're just reaching out to your customers. I mean, yeah. y'all do y'all do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I know uh, for hurricanes, like I know you gotta get rid of the ice cream, so y'all do the. Right, you uh, constantly posting like, hey, bro, basically free ice cream, come get it. How yeah. many did we do this year? Six, seven. I mean, There's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> well, we're losing power. <laughs> so uh, you know, Katrina, we had a, a store in Thibodeau. Um, at the time, and when you lose power, yeah, when you lose power, uh, and that 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 milk that products good? don't smell very good <laughs> after two weeks. Ooh, ooh. Gustav, same thing. We lost power for about two weeks uh, where we were, right. um, and so we decided after that, I said we would rather give it to our customers what at. Up? Bear, I mean, probably we're probably gonna break even. Right. It's just not, you know, not even your cost. Then just, just move it. Potential, just it yeah. Then potential have all that stuff go to waste. Right. Um, and so we started hur hurricane parties. And so now it's kind of a thing. And every year we might have one, maybe two. This year, a lot. This year, it's, it's actually like on our books. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, like how, how do we lose so much money this right. month? Well, we had 45 hurricane parties. It was a lot um, of a uh, lot of uh, and, active hurricanes. Oh my god! And people just loved it. I mean, yeah. they just they absolutely loved the hurricane party, and uh, it, and it allowed people to try new things too, which was great. Yeah. We we'll do a lot of community stuff. A lot of community give, stuff. Give back to. We the don't world. tell people no um, yeah. when it comes to that because right. it's it's again it's the backbone of who we are. So, so for instance, our new milkshake bar, we'll get into that in a little while. You know, we have a local baker that makes our, you know, makes our stuff. We hired yeah. a local uh, marketing firm to handle the marketing. We right. hired a local, um, you know, company that does our shirts. 
Uh, if I can keep my money in Lafouche and Terrebonne, right. um, and it be competitive. Now, I'm not going to pay, you know, triple right. or four I, times, I, you know. Why would you? That's you not smart be, business. You know. Richard's, a restaurant supply. All of our equipment uh, came from uh, Ryan. Yeah. Um, Former alumni. guest. Absolutely, alumni, alumni, alumni for the show. Uh, just Canadas. Canadas, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we the king kicks from Vince, uh, stuff. Yeah, Randy set us up with Vince. Uh, he came over and one of his uh, top people. And Christine, and we kind of got in the lab, and we created this right. really awesome thing. And so that, that's what we want to do. We want to, 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 to make, it, make it big because we need each other. Absolutely. Yes. We need each other. You, you need know? them. They need you. Absolutely. Everybody in the community, that's what makes it work. You know? That's right. Everyone kind of – It's a circulation of Everyone uh, takes a little bit from each other, buys a little bit. Everyone prospers. Absolutely. And that's how you keep a little small community like we got running. That's and right. Y'all even reach out to everybody. I got a German shepherd that loves those little uh, pup cups. Pup cups. <laughs> Man, we're dog friendly. Little, we little love little dogs. Right. Man, we're all dog lovers. And so dogs are welcome. You know, Not just a service animal uh, or, or an emotional support animal. But but actually, like you're you're as long as right. it's on a leash, you know. Right. As long as you bring your dog uh, in that control. Absolutely, we're good. That's awesome. And, I don't bring um, him in. He's part, uh, he's no, part he's of the family. Maverick's a little wild. A little wild, bro. But, uh, bring him through the drive thru It'll be all right. <laughs> he comes through the drive thru Yeah. <laughs> Take a little a little vanilla ice cream. Right. And then we uh, put a uh, little milk bone in it, and because uh, that's that they're part of the family too. So that's it's, awesome. Man. That's, that's it. So 20, 21 years in it, man. We've made some great um, some great relationships, and uh, and so. We can talk about the milkshake bar. Right, I was going to say the milkshake bar. Tell us yeah, a little bit about how awesome. you had to kind of reinvent so did, everything and where did that come yeah, where from? Did that come, where did the idea come from? Hershey's was telling us about um, a couple of people around that were doing doing really cool things with milkshakes. Uh, so we said, yeah, man, that's cool. So we went out to visit one. We went scope them out, a little R&D, right. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reconnaissance mission. Right. Reconnaissance Absolutely. mission. You, you and actually all, all of us went. Or... All of us went. <laughs> and it was fun. And um, we sat there I'm and sure we observed. And we, we observed lines of people getting these milkshakes, but they were all advertising for them. Just everybody was on their phone taking yeah. pictures of themselves. Drink. They had a table where you could just put it on and, and do it. And I just sat here and I said, look at this. Look really at this. These people aren't even drinking it. I don't even know if they're good, but they were fun to look at. And I mean, it was just crazy. And they're I said, pretty. I said, so we can take that idea bring it back home, develop right. something that really is good because quality is, that, that's our staple yeah, right keeps there. keeps them coming back. Keeps them coming back. So we're going to actually make some good shakes, some appealing shakes. We're going to make people happy and they're going to help advertise for us right. too. absolutely. And uh, so about a year and a half of trial and error, we go into the lab, you know, maybe a month we didn't work on it, but then we'd work on some stuff and, and we were finally, we finally put a plan together and said, let's, let's launch this brand within our brand. So we call it Milkshake Bar. And the cool thing is, it's a nod to Zach's is that Z right here yes. in the middle. That's so the it's first not thing the I Z bar, it's the Milkshake Bar. Right. And when it's it, the Milkshake Bar at Zach's, but the Z is a nod because maybe this brand breaks away one day and Correct. You know, it kind of does its, its own, own thing. thing. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, our growth, we're growth minded and we want to bring Absolutely. our local, our local Zach's out honestly to Absolutely. the world right. so you brought a few of them tonight we yeah. tried them a little bit a, a little while ago and mitch is going to insert pictures now right um i like to put them on is the it right spot here? for that They're right, yeah, here. right here <laughs> yeah. right, oh right. click <laughs> mitch right insert now here's the s'mores <laughs> Mitchell. and you had your crew out here yeah had a young lady at the by the sellers bar over there making milkshakes at the bar <laughs> Everybody was kind of confused because there's usually whiskey going on over there. Yeah, right. But uh, you brought three different types. Uh, Explain to me what they are. Sure. So the first one we tried was the s'mores. Yep. All right. Um, which is a, a take on a classic, you know, s'mores with the Hershey's yeah. chocolate. Camp, campfire. Campfire. We take mean, a torch, you know, do the uh, melt the um, marshmallow so, cream all so around the So the presentation is, is what's so cool about that one, actually. And like you said, everybody's taking pictures of it because yeah. it looks awesome. So, yeah, and, and you take kind of like the bar atmosphere. When you go to a bar and they're, and they're flipping, right. flipping do, same thing she at Zach's. She had a torch at, Yeah, at Zach's with the, at the milkshake bar, everyone's got their own little thing that they do. So That's it's kind of cool. kind of unique. Right. And, and they're your milkshake bartenders. Right. Um, and so we want it to be a presentation. So we also have one. It's, um, it's a birthday cake themed one. Uh, it's called Have Your Cake and Drink It Too. And uh, we put a, a candle on the top of a piece of birthday cake That's and light cool. it. You know, so we, we make it a big deal. We want you to... It's to have it's it's about the experience. Everything's right. about the experience, and it needs you know? to be over the top. Oh, absolutely over the top. And the 
the the glasses are and you we had things everything better than it's a mason you know it's like a yeah. mason yeah, and you bring it home you know and that, that's it, your it thing. relates to down where we live you know it's oh, like yeah, yeah, you drink you your can, contraband in it after yeah, you know with the zacks you, know, you can peel that off hit. if you want but whatever oh no i like that that's pretty cool <laughs> But yeah, so the uh, there's seven, right? Have Six. your cake and eat it too. Uh, but we did the wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, tastes just like wedding and cake. You had I mean. a seasonal one with the yeah, king cake called right? Shake Me Something, Mister, and that's what we did with Canadas. Um, and we took their award-winning king yeah, cake. Gooey butter snickerdoodle. Gooey butter snickerdoodle king cake. <laughs> yeah, I got, got it. it. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. There's six of them at the store right now. Yeah. Seven with the Mardi Gras theme one. You're going to carry it for a couple of weeks? Or... Yep, yep. They got a new carry one brewing. Through. They got, got a new, new one brewing. brewing. And it's uh, going to uh, be a, a, a fun name, a really fun name. Y'all going to enjoy this one. Um, and, and South Louisiana theme. I like uh, it. And we're going to add that to our menu because the biggest thing is we wanted to launch with six. Because sometimes in a business, you try to do too much, right. yeah. you know, um, and then everything's just kind of mediocre. Yeah. Well, we wanted six amazing flavors. And so we're going to add a seventh amazing flavor and perfect all the seven and then add an eighth. Well, eight, and eventually right. we're going to get to a point where we'll, we'll drop one off. You know, hey, you right. don't want the little, uh, your little baby hit sitting in the corner not doing that. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. You want to kind of, you know, one's Bring not it back so out good, from Mardi Gras season the, to yeah. King Cake one and Absolutely. stuff like that. But yeah, I can't wait to see what the new one is. Uh, I'm going to wreck it. I think it's Bouilly, but Bouilly. I don't know. Bouilly? Tata la Bouilly? A tata la Bouilly. The boy knows. He's from his old girls from down the bar. My old so girl. I mean. we, should, uh, we should make a ragu patat. Ragu patat. <laughs> that would be good in a milkshake. I don't think we could listen. do that. <laughs> in, a, in a dish, we could definitely make a ragu patat. I just wanted to say a Cajun word. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to I say something. I love a Cajun. ragu patat, bro. That's some I just good wanted stuff. to say ragu patat just to make me sound cool. Huh? Ah, I hear you. You're yeah. Cuban, but you got some Cajun in you. You'd be all right, bro. I got a couple of people down there in cut off. Yeah, you're close, My man. first you Cajun phrase right. I learned was mash konepa. That's it. I don't know. I the don't first know. Cajun <laughs> phrase I learned, I was 18 years old, working in the office. I learned, go get the crescent wrench at the cast of the truck. The cast. The cast, man. That's man. That's where we... That's oh, a, it's the bed where I... You know, yep. Before that. But now yeah. it's always... Everybody cast. riding. Hey, you hey we're going you somewhere. Car. I'm going to jump in the cast. And like three that's dudes will jump in the cast. And, now you and then the driver will be like, I got to drive. I want to be in the cast <laughs> with them. And now you party in your consoles. Or you step in, whatever, whatever. Right, right, want. whichever flavor you like. Yeah. So we talked about the uh, milkshake bar, mm -hmm. which is cool. But y'all got other things going on at Zach's. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. What else y'all got to offer? Right, so, I mean, Zach's famous frozen yogurt, right? I mean, that's that that's where it's at. Right. Best frozen yogurt on the planet. Ever. Bar none. Ever. Bar none, ever. I ever. Mean, ever. Incredible. I got to agree. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Absolutely. We, uh, we also have... The best ice cream on the planet. Right, so you're not know, right. yogurt. Hold on, right. let me People. back you up just a little bit. Sure. Let me back you up just a little bit. Sure. I'm sorry to interrupt. Chad usually does yeah. interrupt, and I'm going to do it this time. Yogurt, it, frozen yogurt, that's healthy. I can eat it that is. on a diet. It is. Yeah. So, so frozen that's yogurt. That's what I tell everybody. Because, man, yeah. Frozen yogurt is made with a skim milk. Okay. A little less sugar and stuff, so it's, yeah. uh, it's got live active cultures in it, too. So, so, uh, so it's really, fat yeah, it's, it's good. It's on my diet. Absolutely. He Absolutely. eats three scoops of yogurt a day. He was three making scoops sure. Three a day. Yeah, look how good he I'm was. Dude, this, hey, this, I'm telling you. You in shape. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Wait till June. Oh, round is in shape. Wait till June. My man, my hair is going to be beach ready in June. Legend. June. Uh, June. I'm June. A, a beach thank body. You for the, uh, thank you for the softball. A little softball. So y'all got yeah. other stuff besides Ice that. Ice cream and authentic Italian gelato. 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 Oh. Oh. Hey. It's like a we shaved brought it to ice. Town. It's we, a shaved ice type no, thing. No, no, it's not. That's Italian ice. As I, I can tell you. Kunas. Well, you cool. kunas don't know. <laughs> I know Italian. I it's, am a kunas. It's, it's, not Italian. Italian. it's not a snowball, bro. That's right. A, a snowball. I'm not a snowball. Grom snowballs. Grom snowballs. Grom, bro. If you know and about Grom chili. Grom said the best chili he is too. Tickling Chad's kunas. Listen, bro. listen, listen. Right. listen right. This guy is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm singing to me right now. I got now. a soft spot for Bible. He Bush. knows everything Absolutely. that tugs at my heartstrings. That's right. Well, anyway, I so like anyway, this guy a lot. July. Next time Authentic when we talk about who's our July. favorite guest, this guy's this guy's becoming. There's levels to this yeah, point. Yeah, and this guy is becoming the top. That's level right. For me. I like he's it. Points. Oh, he's up there, bro. So gelato, gelato, authentic Italian gelato, um, is a dessert uh, that is real popular, obviously in, in Europe. And right. uh, we brought it to Homa, 
and uh, we get it shipped in every week. Well, it's an Italian company that manufactures it, and okay, they, cool. they manufacture it here in the States, but they're an Italian they, company. Yeah, right, so they ship it to yeah. you. Yeah, so we've been doing that for quite a few years now. And, it's a pretty uh, good run, thing. I mean, amazing. it sales pretty good. Oh, man, it's amazing. People love it. Killing love the game. It. That, that, that's the whole thing about Zax is we want the whole gamut of frozen, right? Yes. From, from no fat, no sugar, non-dairy, you know, vegan yogurt all right. the way through all the way to the gelatos all the way to the shakes you know what i'm saying right so cover that, the whole entire part. cover the whole thing so right. Right. you come here you yeah. one stop shop spectrum. you can even bring the your spectrum. dog like we said early that's one it one stop shop come get all your stuff that's yeah. awesome well, what i want to talk about a little bit too is we'll get into i know you got a you know a little bit more going on than what you uh the Frozen business yogurt that you do and, right uh, a little bit more involved in the uh, community uh you as a business owner in homo Resident here, right? Kids go to school here. What would you like to see, you know, as a business owner, as a you know family member of Terrell Parish? How would you like to see Terrell Parish progress in the next ten years? Man, that's a great question. As as a local business owner, and, and you you have to be invested in your community, right? And you got to care about how your community looks and how it how it functions. Yeah. The cleanliness of your community, the things that you're, you know, the um, recreation type. And I'm not just talking about football, baseball, basketball. Right, 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 I'm talking right. about fishing. I'm talking about dog parks. I'm Monkey talking bars. about exercise, places that, right. that, that bicyclists and, and runners can, you know, can enjoy. You know, yeah. those are the things that are important. I think the biggest issue that's on my plate right now, besides, you know, the rec, and I, and I am on that, that rec task force. But I think that the cleanliness of our parish is something that's been near and dear to my heart for a long time. Specifically, by you, Terrebonne. I have a hard time not looking left when I, when I travel the bayou, yes. going up because I mean between my my real estate office and my, and Zach's and where I live, I live in Gray. I travel by you, Terrebonne, up and down. Yeah. And and I just I just look and I see the trash everywhere. Yes. And it, and 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 it's 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 progressively gotten worse. And I'm not and I'm not trying to get get us more sober at this point. No 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 no. Uh, you, you, you're talking at me though, you too, know, because we was involved in some of the cleanup. And yeah. All Keep going. Yeah. So, that is important. So, uh, tying it back into the real estate well. size side, who is going to move to a place, right, that doesn't have those opportunities yeah. and, and, and has so much litter and trash everywhere? No one. And we can blame it on the hurricanes blowing stuff around. No, but we've got to do a better no, job. BS. We've got to do a better job of making this air, our, our beautiful area look beautiful right, right, because it doesn't. You know, it doesn't. We did the uh, white boot cleanup. Yep. Am I saying that correctly? White yep. boot. Daniel, Daniel was involved in it too. Yep. I was there. Uh, I was here. You were we did here it. as yep. well. They yep. were involved, um, and it was amazing to us. What you know, him and I were walking around. It's like. Jesus. We picked that up we, a fuel tank. What we, we found? Fuel tank. Uh, At a bus station, there was a, a fuel tank. A yeah. toilet bowl. We picked up a just, toilet. It was just sitting there, like in the, on the side of the street. Yeah. Uh, shopping cart. I mean, it was all kind of. And that's just the, the beginning bicycle. of it because, like, we just the did the downtown area. <laughs> right there but, like you line. said, the area you travel in gray and all, it's still by you, Terrebonne, and it's just. It's polluted. Like look, people act like it's their garbage can. Look at my Highway Nine. My garbage is over full. Let me throw my X, Y, and Z out here. We Whatever see it, it every is, day. They don't care what it is. Notice Highway Nine between Gray and the Raceland yeah, exit. It's bad. I've never seen it so bad. And we've talked about utilizing by terrible. You know, doing As our home, and, 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 and and you know, utilizing that as part of downtown. Because turn everything the other way. It can be. Turn everything reverse. Clean you ever been in Natchitoches? Up. You ever been in Natchitoches, yeah. Louisiana? <laughs> Absolutely. Have you been? No, I haven't. Bruh, it's beautiful. Go to Natchitoches and come back to Homa. Why well, they can got see. a little bayou type? Dude, oh, it's beautiful. It's a it's a it's a river and everything faces there. Y'all have been in Natchitoches. It is just absolutely and, look, we and so much like us because they have they have northwestern yeah. northwestern okay, up there. So they got a little and they're they're a great community of, of history and stuff. But they've they've harnessed their downtown. They're absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We and look, have, you open this door right here. You we got have it right a there. gym right there. Yeah, you got it right and there. No one uses it. You got it right there in the Anacosta. I mean, we don't right. utilize the Anacosta. That little marina downtown could be something popping, bro. Oh, you put a little, the, uh, you put the, a little venue right there where you could play music. Look how nice the canal park. We don't have a seafood market now. Think about this. What 
on Facebook. <laughs> Y'all know where they got crabs? Who's got crawfish? Who's got shrimp? Who's All got right, whatever? Man, Highway 90. Yeah, yo, no, that's call, be, call my you, friend. Call. You gotta need, go to the We don't have a central and, uh, place where Google. all the shrimp, all the people come and right. They market. should have one of each. Like, you hey, gotta I sell shrimp. I sell. You gotta go to the shed and go to the meadow over yeah, there. Yeah, the right, seafood you know. shed. <laughs> no. That's where Big you gotta shout go. out to George. <laughs> George is the shit. George is the shit. I man. agree with you 100. percent And and That's I kind of really. Kinda, huh? I kinda, That's a good old boy. Uh, pet, you know our little pet project that we kind of involved in and is downtown, mm-hmm. and, and we're passionate about. It's kind of reviving job. downtown. Noah's big part of it. The distillery's big yeah. part of it. This uh, building right here has done a lot. We, we go hang out in downtown Joe all the time, and, yeah. and it we all kind of ties into what you're saying with the bite terrible and cleaning it up. And like we said, we talked to several people, and people have come on here and, and been real passionate about it. And I think that we're starting to move in that right direction. I think enough people have noticed it, and we are doing blue, uh, the white boot cleanups and different areas. we kind of got to venture yeah. out, though. Can't just yeah. focus on downtown. We gotta go all over. No. I like what we're doing with the Bayou Sports Park. That's we, incredible, we, dude. Hey, Shout look, out I to saw, Dean. Yeah, Dean's doing a great I saw some past guests, bro. What they're doing over there is state of the art. If you some, don't know, awesome. go check it out. They got some pictures that came out My this kids week. Love it. They did some aerial pictures. They got a beach. I mean, they get the adult, the splash parks coming up. Yeah. Man. They got a lot of stuff going on. That's over right there. there on that's what the community is looking for. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's do. what we need. Not, you know, we don't need more ballparks. We need more things for the community to come together Correct. and have more outdoor activities and, and it's a you big old enjoy. oasis for all, all you yeah, I yeah. love seeing the Facebook posts everybody's posting catch it. going to catch fish, fish yeah. man they got rainbow trout over there they got a cool yeah. people are catching well, fish where the waiters in the middle of the uh, yeah. uh, 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 what they call fly, fly fishing, fishing. Yeah, it's man. crazy I mean yeah that, that's, that's it we, we, we have to have a clean environment a beach. we have to have a clean environment and that's where it starts there's right. a freaking that's where I think the idea that they took with that sports park I think run with the right person that Dean is, yeah. that thing is going to blossom and look, into things the, like that, and that, look, that thing's going to be great because yeah, Dean's going to make yeah, it great. That Absolutely. thing's going to succeed. I think once that succeeds and we see we got the rec reform coming, yeah. you right. know, we can get It's going to bring in more, more dollars. I, I think it's going to bring in more money here. I think if we get more things like that happening, we can, we can turn this into what we love. Clean, deep. Look, <laughs> personal. As a as a as a as a human that lives in Terrible Parish, take human. pride in where you live. Clean up Terrible Parish. Yeah. Don't throw things in the bayou. Don't throw things on the side of the road. Bring it to the dump. Have you ever been to the dump? <laughs> it's real organized over there. It's <laughs> Dude, real easy hey, to get rid of. They do it like this. You pull it, you drop, and it's all right. 27 dumpsters. You can go throw things away over there by Ashton if you didn't know. Right. They say cleanliness is next to godliness, you know, and we yeah. we're very spiritual down Amen, here, so you got to get yes, clean. Absolutely, but that, 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 I mean, that's it. I, I think when we get that under when we get that under control, and you know, it's no secret that the oil oil field's been in in a little bind in the last seven years. Yes, two thousand unfortunately, uh, two thousand fourteen. Now we'll change it up a little bit. But I'm gonna tell you what, we're resilient because we have the best welders and shipbuilders and pipe fitters, and we have lots of warehouse space. And I and I and I tell you what. Watch this area. You know, a lot of people talk about it's going to become the, I hate to say, next Morgan, Morgan City. City. Right. Hey, God, you heard that you too. I hate to say that. that. The next but I'm so sorry for the people that, that live in Morgan City. It's a beautiful place. But but Lafouche and Terrebonne, which, you know, first cousins right there. We right. have the most skilled laborers. Man, if, if, we just, if we just roll with it, man, yes. you know, because you, you can have reasons or results and you can't can have both. beautiful things. Remember I said that. You're right. right? I like right? it. Right? Like so, so, so we're going to stop by the reasons why we can't and we're going to start focusing on the results. And, and, and our people are, are hard workers and they're smart and they, yes. they work with their hands. They're determined. We got this. That was a good discussion right here, but I want to bring yep. something real uh, near and dear to my heart mm-hmm. to you. It's, uh, a, it's, a, it's a question we ask everybody. It's yeah. a question, man. It usually mm-hmm. asks us. Uh, today, I fortunately got the uh, short straw to ask this one. But anyway, your favorite Cajun dish. If only you could have whoa, one Cajun whoa, dish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The rest. Whoa. The, Stop. The re- uh, the, Stop. The, uh, uh, nope. I've been waiting for this. Okay. <laughs> 
Check this out, me. <laughs> what are you doing, man? I been, one too. I've been waiting for this question. Okay? I've been waiting for this question. We're going to talk about it. We're going to hash it out right here, right now. This right is now. a hot topic. Let's this do this. It. All right. I'm ready. I'm going to read your shirt real quick, sir. Your shirt says, friends, don't let friends put <laughs> potato salad in their gumbo. God, don't. God, what's up? Look at this. You post this on every post you post. And I sneak it in, on dude. Facebook. I sneak God, it in. I, I, I do you admire. don't even know it's coming. I do admire. You don't even know it's coming. I do admire. You are very persistent. I have been waiting for this, for this. Woo! All week. I'm ready. I wore my gumbo Ladies shirt. Ladies and gentlemen, Manny versus Joe. I will just sit <laughs> back and enjoy. All right, I'm ready. I'm you ready. wore your gumbo shirt. I wore my gumbo shirt. Let's and get I it on. Explain to me, sir, <laughs> why you don't like gumbo with your potato salad or potato salad in your gumbo. Do you even like potato salad? Depends. Okay. Okay. You wear right, depends. Go. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> it depends. Okay. I'm, you don't I'm, like relish. I'm a little. You I'm a, uh, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm. I'm really picky on my potato salad. I like my 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 dad's potato salad. My wife's potato salad. How is it? Though? I need to talk to you about how. Like like I'm gonna ask you some questions. If you okay. bring potato salad, I'm gonna ask you some questions. You, what kind of mayonnaise? How much mayonnaise? Is the mayonnaise to mustard ratio? Um, I do like a little sweet relish, sweet pickles in there too. Now you're you know, not speaking like, my language, um, but I understand. A little Tony's like a on the top. Absolutely. And I like it cold. Don't you give me no hot potato salad. Um, we're on the same page it's with potato salad. It's gotta be cold, salad. okay? We are on the same right. page with potato salad right. so far. He no, likes I'm warm, done. room temp. I like, no, butter. I like the minute that we make the potato salad, I like to eat it like that's, that. That's the, that's the yeah, cut Yeah, I, I appreciate you turning. Appreciate you coming. That's, yeah. Hey, that's hey, the, that's the body cheers. Right. I'm going to go use the bathroom. Y'all finish this. Go ahead. Because I got nothing to say to you. That's the body potato okay. salad, room temperature. Right. Cook, room temperature. Sure. Shit, okay. I like that. Whatever. Whatever. I like mine cold in the refrigerator. The relish. You okay. know, I don't like a lot of mustard either. I like uh, blue plate. <laughs> I like, you know, I like my mayo. Okay. A menace, whatever you Mine call it. Mine sure. Mine is, is, whatever. We can get a whole cup of chance throw it up right now. So I think we're on the same page as far as potato salad. salad. <laughs> okay, I like my wife's potato salad, I like my mom's potato salad. But let's talk. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to start off with this, okay? I like my gumbo, so chicken and sausage. Okay. I don't eat okra gumbo. It's too slimy. I don't like okra. Chicken and sausage gumbo. I'm not one of those fellas that take the potato salad, throw it in the bowl, and pour my gumbo over the oh. potato salad. I'm not one of those guys. So gross. It's not. I will admit. <laughs> no I will rice. admit. No that's rice. a little, so nasty. That's a little super, so nasty. I don't eat rice. Yeah, I don't, I don't, eat, I don't like rice Ooh. in my gumbo. Either. I throw really? potato I salad. Say I put that gumbo on top. I will say with that, a bunch of muscle. No. I will say that I don't like rice in my uh, too much rice. I like a little bit of rice, not too much. I put a little rice, mm. put my gumbo, okay, and then I like to lightly scoop my potato salad. I kind of catch the rim and then scrape it like okay. that. All right. And I scoop up, and there's a technique. I scoop up with my spoon, I get some gumbo, come up potato salad, that cold potato salad, hot gumbo. Damn, that's good. You go, sir. I mean, you have a Prove right. Prove me wrong. Now, listen, you have a right to be wrong. Uh, okay. Um, potato salad doesn't belong in the gumbo. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> you cook it. Listen. First, you, I'm it listen. doesn't. I'm, I'm going to go over this with an open mind. Go ahead. Speak so I can listen. Are you sure you're not from Alaska? <laughs> Would you? Okay. Okay. The, the ingredients of potato salad. Okay. Not one of those goes in gumbo. Hell no. Except for some of y'all uh, uh, put eggs in it. Some people put eggs in yeah, the gumbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down the bottom. Yeah, down the bottom. Yeah, yeah. We put that in our... But other than that, you too, don't. Bro. Yeah. Other than that, you don't. So why would you put ingredients that don't go in it's the cold, a gumbo the into something? Ratio. Which I, I mean, I get, but it's great. It looks. It's the cold, it the looks hot ratio. disgusting. It looks nah, like nah, nah, nah. diarrhea. I don't it's, care what it looks like. You it, eat it. You know it what it's gonna look it like? It it. It. I'm, I'm gonna 
I agree. It looks it, terrible. It changes the consistency. <laughs> it looks it's, horrible. It change. It does. Was, it looks horrible. I it changes the it consistency. It might be one of the best things you've ever eaten. It looks like. Dog I will say that you would be red on about the same level because he would agrees you, with you. Would you scoop mayonnaise and put it in your gumbo? Would you scoop? Mustard and put it in your gumbo. Me, no, but I'm would you, would you slice some potatoes, some pecats, and put that in your gumbo? You wouldn't. That's but, another but, starch with your rice, wait, dude. But wait, but you put it all together and then you put it in the gumbo and it goes. It doesn't go. It either goes or doesn't go, and it doesn't go. Oh, it goes. It doesn't go. It goes. No, it goes. It doesn't. Gumbo Cold to hot ratio. potato salad. Now listen. listen don't listen. dunk it. You can don't dunk it. I'm agree with you. Don't no, dunk you can, it. You but can, you gotta get that little hot then cold. It's like putting it's like putting uh let's put this. It's like getting vanilla ice cream and putting a little hot uh pie on top. It's not look. even like yes, vanilla exactly. ice cream. It's <laughs> exactly it the same not. thing. Cold to it hot. Is it's not. the Cajun rail. It is not. Listen. It's the same thing. And look, look if you do eat Cold potato hot. salad with your gumbo, Brownies. you have to you have to eat all the potato salad off of your spoon because if you if the spoon still has some potato salad on, you and won't you put eat it, in gumbo, it. You gotta throw it away. No, I'm very it. passionate. He's very passionate. I love it. I love the passion. Yeah. Okay. Cajuns love their food. First yeah. things first. Okay, let me okay. back up. I need to ask you a gumbo question. First of all, gumbo. Do you put tomatoes in your room? I don't. Thank no. God no, no, we no. agree on that. Thank God. All right. I'm going back to potato salad. <laughs> okay. Hot to cold ratio is the whole reason. Now, I, I, I agree with the hot to cold thing because we do a, a brownie sundae at Zach's. It's a hot brownie, right? cold yogurt Isn't with a hot delicious? fudge on top. It's Isn't fantastic. It delicious? fantastic. It's the same thing. It's not the same it's thing. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. Hey, easy on the table, dog. Yeah, yeah, look, I got to yeah. calm down, too. No, I'm talking to Manuel, but you go too, bro. I don't want. I don't want you to flip this bitch. I know you're it very just, passionate. It, it, it just doesn't. It just doesn't go. And I don't know why in the world anybody thinks. So where it does goes. where did this hatred for potato salad in the gumbo start? The the truth that it started. Well, first of all, I don't like it. Uh, you don't uh, do it. And so I, you know, and of course, everybody needs to th- think like me, right? Right. So Correct. it really started as a joke on Facebook because for a while Facebook became a really ugly place. Uh, after the Bernie yes, memes, it yeah. was fun. It's yeah, been yeah, fun. yeah. It's been pretty cool it's with been Bernie. Fun. Bernie. But for a while, it was like everything was like everybody was on edge. Bro. Was, yeah. And I, 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 I log in because you know you use it for for business and and uh, Facebook. Yeah, you know, I had Facebook when it was a you had to have a .edu email address. You had to be a college yeah, student damn, to, to OG, have it. bro. Oh, gee. Back at Nichols when you made that down the bayou I got that when I was in Nichols. At the Salafoose Tree. Talk to him about that later, son. I got that when I was in Nichols. I love me. I love my wife. <laughs> um, so it, it, it kind of started as, as I would log in, and, and it was like, Facebook is just an ugly place. And so, I went, I, so, so everything was controversy, controversy. I said, well, what's the most controversial thing I can post as a Cajun? <laughs> and it's that. And yeah. I just put it out there, and it just kind of went from there, and I stayed consistent on it. Right? And, and it's like, Consistency. It just, you, don't, you don't realize it just, oh, man. And like I did a, a couple of posts where it's like the top five things in real estate yeah. you do is selling your house. One, two, three, four. And then number five post. was don't put potato salad in your gumbo. I did and see so just, I did you see slide that it in there. Yeah, uh-huh. I made a political post at one point. And then you, and then you, you slide the potato salad in the gumbo. Did you just show how ridiculous, really, controversy on Facebook really is? But how much the potato salad and the gumbo, or things like, <laughs> do you put ketchup on your white beans, like, like, Bruh, like now Matt you're talking Benrod a whole does, language. or, or is 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 a uh, is a red jambalaya better than a brown jambalaya? No. Hey, 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 right. hey, watch no. me, dude. I know people that will cook you a red shrimp jambalaya. Yeah, hey, where you going, Mississippi? No, I'm not going to Mississippi. I'm going to Galliano, Louisiana, boy. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's red. Let me good. tell you something. That's Creole with that little, red, little bit of tomato. Red, or is red, it a chicken red. stew or a fricasse, right? It's a fricasse where I'm right? from. But it's a chicken stew chicken over stew. here. Or do you put butter beans in your chicken stew? Absolutely not. Absolutely you do. No, and people from Thibodeau don't, though. That's weird. No. Look, it's a chicken no, fricasse where I come from. Yeah, yeah. shrimp fricasse. Everything's a fricasse. Everything's a fricasse. But my... So, so that's the kind of stuff that, that really needs to be controversy. Yeah, yeah. Not the, the not the stuff, stuff that just makes us feel so the real awkward stuff. around each other. Yeah, yeah the no, real stuff. No, we, we should have a whole 
uh, all, thing about if it's chicken stew or chicken fricassee, because if you fry it before you burn it in there, that's a fricassee. We are all fricassee means to fry prior in Cajun free. Hey, we yeah. are all coon asses in this world. Yeah. And we need to, you know, we need to unite as a coon ass. But I do like the Absolutely. controversy. Yeah. And look, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna agree to disagree. I mean, yeah, I'm still gonna go to Zach's and get that gelato tomorrow. But I, I like my potato salad and my gumbo cow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't. I, yeah, I listen, can't. my wife, my wife. I bet she likes does. potato salad and her gumbo. She's a tarpon, and bro. And my mom likes potato salad and her gumbo. My dad doesn't. So the men sit on one side <laughs> of the table, and we don't watch them. We're just like because I will admit, I, y'all I doing like and all the women are. Like, yeah, they're like, oh, it's, it's so they're good. Like, like, tearing my dad, like, this shit's uh, delicious. Uh, I will admit. We're like, running outside with our gumbo. I will admit that I had to control myself a little bit. I was going to go to Off the Hook and get gumbo Shout and out potato to the hook. salad. You cannot get drive-thru <laughs> gumbo in a <laughs> me- in the world <laughs> better than this. Best drive-thru gumbo ever. In the world. But I was going to I was going to break out the good. bowl as oh, you were talking about it. Dude. Pour the potato salad in my bowl and then gumbo on top and just drink it. I was going to take one for the team. I had a th- I'd have been the first guest to throw up on, on this camera. <laughs> Producer <laughs> ball over here. The same thing. God, I would have took one for the team. I don't like that. Yeah. But I do. Done, yeah. I'm telling you, there's a trick. You got to put the, the potato salad. You got to cup it on the side of the bowl. You got to have a big you get bowl. Get a girl at uh, you a bears to get you like a fucking that. scoop like of that. potato salad. It, it, you go to the upper, off the upper, hook and get gumbo and mix hot that together. Cold. Hot cold. Hot cold. Right. We'll agree to disagree, gentlemen. Okay. Yeah. Back up. Favorite Cajun dish is it gumbo? Yeah, it is gumbo. <laughs> it is gumbo. <laughs> right, it is gumbo. Over potato salad. All right, Chad's gonna ask you the most important question of the night. Do you know who? No. Do you play Pedro? I do. And you are from Vanderbilt. God, I hope we don't argue on this too. You must play Cutthroat. So because my because my bride is is from South Lafourche. Guess what he does? Dep- Follow suit. What? Well, it depends on what parish I'm playing in. Yeah, but you at Pedro. So I'm on that side of Bayou Blue Road, right? <laughs> I will play. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll I'll play Follow Suit. Me too. Yeah. What do you prefer? Honestly, I don't have a preference because I like uh, you can I, I say, like playing. No, I, I like think playing. they both yeah. take a different strategy. They do take a different they strategy. Do, man. Hey, man. And if you don't think that, then you're just not yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. first enough. But cutthroat is what I'm used to playing. Hey, man. You well, wife's not going to watch this. Just say yeah, cutthroat. Yeah, she won't. Just say cutthroat. Yeah, no. You prefer cutthroat. <laughs> no. It's okay. He likes it, them all. It, it depends on where I am. If my feet are on a Lafouche. <laughs> I think he's more of my partner. Manny yeah. thought he was going to be more Manny's partner. I think me and him more clear. He's way more down the bottom. He's than way I more my type of dude. I like this dude. That hey, dude, before, dude you par- the- before you start your truck in the parking lot, you're going to have a Facebook request. <laughs> Friend from me, I promise. All right, you. dude. Hey, great. Jamie. Get my phone and request Joe on Facebook, please. Uh, I'm gonna be his friend on hey, Facebook. Little I'm not you the know. only Joe Boudreau, but I'm the best one. Yeah, yeah he's the good looking dude with the ice little cream. Little do you know, we're already friends on Facebook. That's right. You it don't matter. You don't know shit about down the bike except you go work okay. on there and what T. He Lawrence in, tells you. Yeah, shout out good. to T. Lawrence. Hey, thank you for versing man in our culture, partner. Somebody won Pedro just now. All right, well. 1428 in the background with a dude. I just learned about five person Pedro the other day. I've never, I never, I've never played either. five never. person nope. Pedro. Never. Yeah. Huh. There, so, there's such a thing. That's crazy. Yeah. Never heard of it. Anything else? Joe, anything else? Yeah, I Gentlemen, like this guy. I had a great time. I We've did, been looking yeah. forward to this uh, I like this dude this already, bro. It was, it was a good time. I could see him coming Very back. interested. Appreciate the argument. and yeah. uh, Appreciate the milkshakes, bro. That shit yeah, was man. so good, bro. Thank you, you don't know all. about it, go to Zach's Frozen Yogurt. Two locations. Right next to the mall, past the mall, and also on St. Charles Street. Yeah, y'all go hit y'all up there. Thank you. Get that milkshake bar, man. Appreciate support, it. Uh, support local. And uh, appreciate everybody that came out today. Tippy bartenders, uh, we are out. This is a fantastic night. We really do whiskey Wednesday. We love y'all.